Good morning and welcome to ForexTV.com's AM Forex New York. Today is Friday, November 9th. I'm Caitlin Sisney. The dollar fell to a record low against the euro. As traders raise bets, the Federal Reserve will reduce its benchmark interest rate next month to bolster U.S. economic growth. Euro is trading at 146.88. The greenback fell to the weakest in 26 years against the British pound, before a report today that will likely show sentiment among American consumers was the worst since May 2006. Sterling is trading at 210.16. Meanwhile, yen rallied as investors retreated from higher yielding assets. Yen is trading at 111.19. Today we're joined by David Gilmore from FXA. David, what's affecting the forex market this morning? Good morning, Caitlin. I'm looking at uh, some news out of uh, the banking sector. Uh, there were rumors on Barclays Bank having large subprime losses. That's helped take the dollar higher after seeing 26-year uh, lows versus sterling uh, earlier in the London session and uh, record high in euro versus the dollar. Uh, I think markets are very uh, focused on, uh, on news from subprime uh, land. Wachovia Bank announced it had about a $1 billion write-down on its subprime exposure, though that was offset by hedges it owned. Uh, but it also announced about a $500 to $600 million loan loss provision for the fourth quarter. So markets are very nervous on the financials. Uh, I would expect to see pressure in the, in the financial stocks. That would be the focus for markets today and leading into next week. And that has mixed uh, signals for the dollar. In general, the interest rate economic fundamental story still supports a lower dollar, Fed easing, ECB on hold, maybe raising. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, risk aversion goes up with the subprime concerns. And we see uh, bets taken out of currencies, and in this case, short dollar positions get covered. Uh, so we have kind of conflicting uh, flows and, and trends and themes. But in general, I think uh, the weak dollar story on the fundamental uh, picture uh, wins out. Should see more new lows next week. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, David. That was David Gilmore from FXA. I'm Caitlin Sisney. Join us again later for another update right here on ForexTV.com.